The piece that I bought in my house, what's that worth? 450. 450 grand. Now it is. Damn. Good investment. What is that piece? 15 million? Have you had any offers on? I do. I have one Will in my pocket. Sell. It's just not high enough. So he he lowballed you. Of course. He beat you to it. Yeah. You're so wrong. Dude. Murphy guys, superstar artist, uh, hotter than fire. This is a $15 million piece behind us. He's known for astronauts, bougies. What is bougie? Where did that word come I from? I made it up. Uh, bougie, it's a made up word. Yes. Like uh, all words, po- by the way. Positive energy derived from creativity. Wow. Dude, yeah. That's awesome. It's got a good, yeah, I made it up. Like bougie, bougie. bougie like, the bougie space. It, how do you say it? Bungie, B-O-O-N-J-I. Boon, B- there's an N in there. Yes. Bungie. Yeah. And you have a bungee space there. I have a in your collection. How how big's my bungee? I think it's nine feet. Eight, yeah, eight yeah, feet. yeah. It's it, custom made. Yeah, one, one of a one. kind. Everything I do is one of one. But yours, we went out. We went. But, did it yeah, yeah. And then, and then it's got my sayings on it too. So we'll, yes, we'll be talking a, about some uh, a, yeah. a special thing you and I are going to do for yeah. the next growth conference. But um, Brendan, really good to be in your studio, man. Like like you've been doing art how long? 20 years. 20. What, what were you doing before that? I was a pro basketball player. What? And then I, yeah. No, Why man. do you say it like that? What? I will take you. White men can't jump, listen, bro. Listen. I'm a, Shit. Okay. It's a, that is true, actually. <laughs> that part was true, but I can shoot. I can shoot. Okay. No, okay. and then I, I was on uh, Wall Street. I was yeah. a trader on Wall Street. Yeah. Trading yourself. I, and then I just. A I trader did, to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then I came to terms that I was a creative person. Uh-huh. I had no idea what, how I was going to be like pursue that, but I yeah. made a big pivot. Yeah. Played poker for a couple of years to support my, my, uh, your dad, habits, that pivot. And then I just kind of dial in on the work side. I, just, I said, well, the one thing I know how to do is work. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about this guy. Like you, most artists that you meet, you know, you tend to think that they're a little introverted and. You know, they don't know how to talk about themselves. And this guy is a freaking master marketer, okay? Like, he is a bullshitter. That's probably how you came up with Boonji. You're like, yeah. And and I say, you know, I say bullshit, like, like in reverence. I hold this word in reverence. I understand the way you Because artists that can't talk about their art are going to be starving artists. But it's an extension of what I do. It's what uh, who I am. Right. So it's easy. I don't know that I have a choice also, by the way. This is what Because I what? Because you don't trust the galleries? Or no, you don't no, trust this is what I do. What? You eat. I make art. I make stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm just saying. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. I wake up every day and make things. So where did this come from? Like, when, when did you start doing this? You've been doing this 20 years. This wasn't your first art. You mean the diamond? The, the no, no, the design. astronaut stuff. The uh, eight years, seven years ago. What was it before that? Based mostly paintings. Uh-huh. And I had to scale. I had to learn right. how to scale. Uh-huh. So one of the things in the, I don't have a lot of talent, but I, I knew I could, <clears throat> I could learn my materials. So I work with very light materials. Uh-huh. I own this chroming technique so I can make things Super not big. only scale my business, but I literally can scale. Right. Cause you did, you did it light. Yeah. You did a piece in London, Antigua. Yeah. And I, I think just, it's Antigua, right? I'm proud of me. I just booked, uh, 30 foot spaceman in Cairo today. This morning. Wow. So that's really fun. To wow. Do stuff like that. And what will that sell for? Or is that a city? Seven figures. Seven figures. I know that's not 10. I know it's it's okay. not going to get me to G650, but it's a, it'll get me a seat on it, maybe. Well, you already had a seat on it. You, you want to transition <laughs> to that? Like, let's talk about how this thing got here. Okay. Yeah. The whole story, the back, the back story. Oh, of I don't know. Yeah. No, it's a, it was a challenge. I, I, um, this piece was where it's it'd been a two year process. Um, this two, of, took two years to make this. Yeah. I put two million bucks of my own money into it. I had to buy out a very shady guy, uh-huh. dangerous guy. Uh-oh. And subsequently I had to move the piece from a vault in Vegas to LA with the support of some, uh, security experts. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of weapons. That's basically guys that blend in. Yes. Not. And, uh, we, and you were very helpful. I asked and you said yes. And I really appreciate it because there's a security issue of how to get it from LA to this show. Right, right. So, and you did me a big favor. Bre- Brendan called me up. This was the classiest move yeah. I've ever seen. I've seen people like come up with all kinds of crazy bullshit yeah. to get a seat on my plane. But yeah. this guy figured it out. He's like, I don't want a seat. Boonji needs a seat. And once he got Boonji secured, then he's like, 
Well, you have leaving, one more seat. Yeah, but you're leaving out if you get to name my next child. You asked yeah, for that. Yeah, that, that's right. You that's left right. that out. His next so child. Listen, yeah. Yeah. So eight years ago, did you just stumble across the astronaut concept? Or? No, it has very little to do with space. It has everything to do with taking a step forward. Oh, awesome. Embracing the unknown. Who, who embodies that more than a right. guy literally jumping out of a spaceship right, into right. the unknown? Wow, wow, wow. And all that comes with that, uh-huh. which is also what the formulas represent. What goes yeah, on yeah. in our minds, yeah. like that process of pivoting, of uh-huh. changing your life. It's scary. Yeah. And the formulas, the, now when I look at your art and I see all the formulas, because yeah. they're intriguing to me. How we process emotions and how we land on decision, it's a very abstract process. Uh-huh. It's a little of your past. Yeah, yeah. Fears. Yeah, yeah. Desire. Yeah. yeah. So it's not, and life itself is liquid. Yeah. And it's one plus one equals three. Liquid, liquid, not be water, but be fluid. Yeah. And, if, and if you think it's in a box, you're yeah. going to keep hitting yeah, those yeah, walls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not to get too artisty. Like, no, dude, art, I love that. I mean, but, I, so I, they're meant to be abstract because that's how we land. On, yeah. I try communicating with my wife. It's not a, yeah. It's, it's this nuance, right? right, in a right. Relationship. It's, a da- it's a dance of, and ultimately, you gotta cut, you gotta land somewhere. You gotta say it. You gotta yeah. feel it. Yeah. So, like when I see this piece back here, or or the piece in the background, the thumbprint. They look it, to me. I don't know why I keep thinking it's a thumbprint. It is. Is it? No, it's a okay. fingerprint, which identifies yeah. us all. It's very yeah. personal. Yeah. 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 That all the formulas. It's just the. It's a vehicle for the same prop. It started yeah. here in the chalkboard uh-huh. pieces. Yeah. And then I use the fingerprint as just a vehicle. Brendan, how do you trust like? Whether you're a business or an artist, to me, that's very similar. How do you trust the idea, the, the, the original idea to like, Hey, I'm going to express stepping out with this guy. Yeah. And then putting yourself on the line enough to say, Hey, I wonder if people even like this. It's a great question. I don't know because there's certain guys that reach just go for it. I'm more of a creative problem solver, but I think things that happen in your life get you to a spot where you realize time's moving quick. Uh-huh. It's valuable. And what are we doing here? So I think there is a certain leap, like the feeling that I have believing in what, like my whole business is an IP play. Uh-huh. I create intellectual property. I'm winging it the whole time. So I don't know that there's an easy way to, yeah, to do that, but, so, it, so but you, it's required. Right, right. But it's required. You right. got to go for it. You got to believe it. But, so you don't go through any of the process about like, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this. And if nobody wants it, big deal. I don't. You, you think don't think about, about the, that. I can't. Uh huh. Nah. I you write can the or you don't. I go play it. Yeah, yeah. And you hope to hell they like it. Right. Did you know this would work? Art. Make this, it. this, 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 like this particular piece. It will work. Huh? It's important to me. Yeah, yeah. I know the value of uh, stones that are millions of years old. Th- these aren't crystals, by the way. For yeah. any of you that might be confused, these Fine, are diamonds. It's the, the most diamonds in one place in the old world at the moment. Wow. Yeah. 517 carats. Have you had any offers on? I do. I have one Will in my pocket. It? It's just not high enough. Yeah. 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 So he, he lowballed you. Of course. He beat you to it. Yeah. And <laughs> you're so wrong, dude. Now, t- tell me about the poker career. You did poker for a while. Oh, it wasn't much of a career. It was survival. Oh, was it? Were, yeah. you, were you good at it? Very good. How good? I grew up playing cards. Uh-huh. I'll play. I told you. It's one of the best things I do. You play a four-card version of Hold'em. No, I'm good at PLO now. Uh, Pot Limit Omaha. Yeah. Okay, got it. But I, uh, it doesn't pay the bills. This pays the bills. Right. It's like, it's a hot, I mean, How much, it kept me alive. Yeah. I don't recommend it. No? No. How about Wall Street? Tough business. Yeah. How I about, don't know any business. That how about easy. basketball? It's if just, you had to go back and do one of those three, what would you do? I would have... Uh, done some sort of stretching that I would become six eight. Yeah, got it. But outside then, of that, big basketball. you know, listen, everything's everything's tough. I just think I admire the pursuit and your business. You if you embody someone who believes in themselves. Yeah, who <clears throat> who believes in your track record. I say that to a lot of people. Uh-huh. You have to believe for the last twenty years. Look at the decisions you've made. You got to lean on that, and you do that. I yeah. do that. Where it's going to go, you can't control. But you, you, you've been doing it for how many years? Making good decisions. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you lean on. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I think but I'm right. You're leaning on a track record 
of good decision making. Yeah. You still can make bad ones. I still make bad ones. But yeah, I, I, have I, try track to, I try to limit those. Well, that's it. Right, as you right. become a professional, yeah, boy, it gets yeah, a yeah. lot. You don't make yeah. many bad ones. And to the artist, okay? How important is marketing? Like, where, where would you rate the importance of marketing? It's different than your business. Because if I go too much, I lose the, I'm too available. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You think you become too available? It's a balance. Uh -huh. You uh, think I'm too available? No, but you should be. You have a, you have, a, you need the, you need, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it, I, also, you're trying to help people. Right, so you, right. So you're trying to help as many people as you can. Yeah. I'm trying to make less work and sell it for higher prices. Right, right, right. So there is right, this, right. Where I, when I started, so I you, you can't be anywhere. so available. Uh -huh. I converted nightclubs. I did a show anywhere. Uh -huh. How you know, many times have you compromised yourself? In the beginning? In the beginning. A lot. Yeah. Now, it costs me money if I do it. So you say marketing on a scale from zero to 10, 10 being like, man, your whole damn career depends on it. Where would you rate marketing? 9.5. Nine. Uh -huh. That's We're, huge. It's That's everything. Big number, number, right? 9.5 out of 10 is a big number. Because you could market shitty art and still make a living. I know a lot of people in this hall. Yeah. Make it a living. Yeah. So, shit. so let me ask you that. Does best start? Can I win? swear? I'm sorry. Is this do whatever you want to do, bro. We in America. We in America. I'm with a goddamn artist. I come from the goddamn swamp. bayous of Louisiana. Huh? You come from the swamp. I come from a swamp, bro. I took a, I, you ever been on a goddamn canoe in a bayou? No. I'm from, I I'm grew from up Boston. in the bayou. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And now I fly a G650 right by you. Uh, okay. Let's talk about this. All yeah. Right. I'm excited about this. All right. Okay. Collaboration. So we're going to I don't do many. The yeah. same way you don't yeah. let people on your plane. Yeah. I don't do many I let nobody on my plane. Okay? I don't, and I don't do collabs with anybody. I'm going to do it. He asked me when we were leaving, he's like, hey, man, I got one of my, one of my zombie guys, my CIA guys, one of my, Brandon's like, you got room? I oh. said, bro, there's 17 seats on my plane. He's like, oh, you got room? I said, not for him. But we got one for Bougie. Bougie, yes. Bougie. Yeah, okay. he made it. Okay, he, he made it. And when he came out the plane, dude, he was cold, right? Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do with this project? You tell me. But I want to take, mm -hmm. how, how tall is this? That one's 13 inches. Perfect for my desk. Okay. Okay. And what I would like to do, this is the idea, okay, with your permission, sir, mm -hmm. is I'd like to make a limited number of these, mm -hmm. very exclusive. I want to put 10X on the chest. You write it. I'll make the statue. You write on. You write on. It. I do so, all the writing. So it's a collab. But I gotta yeah. get. I gotta get you I'll somewhere. Some. Somewhere right. on. Maybe on the some. booty. I'll do something. On the bungee booty. I'll do something. Yes. Okay. Do a little yes. kissy face or something. Whatever. Okay. And then and then I want my clients. We'll release this at the growth conference. In my okay. big annual conference. Okay. You like this idea? Oh. This is the one I have in my house, right? A bigger one. Well, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If that works for you, I, I'd be I'd be honored, and I appreciate the you coming down. It's a big, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm then, in. It, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in. Whatever. So, yeah. so if you guys, it's, it, when I talk about taking a leap, this is like I feel that right now. Yeah, and saying yes, I'm taking that Dude, leap right. We now. don't even know the deal is. We're just going to yeah. do it. Okay. So, uh, if you guys are interested in one of these, you know, make sure you reserve your spot. Maybe we do what? Like, what's a limited? Like a 500? Is that pretty limited on the whole planet? Out of that's a lot. Years? That's a lot. But we'll figure something. It's on you. You know your well, audience. Well, if I go to 125, then it's going to become more expensive. I want to be able, let people be able to get it. What is that piece? 15 million? This one sells for eight grand. You yeah. got to figure something out. Okay. The piece that I bought in my house, what's that worth? Uh, 450. 450 grand. Now it is. Damn. 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 Good investment. You see, I had a couple wounds from getting scalped. Yeah. Yeah. I did hey. the puppy dog puppy dog clothes on the artist. Okay, good. We're going to do this. I like this idea. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let, let me ask happy. you. These are kind of private questions for me, okay? Um, you have something private in yeah, your life? Yes. Yes. Right. You introduced me to, to the owner of the Houston Astros. Right. Good friend of yours. Jim. Yes. Jim Crane. You told me, man, Jim Grant, you wanted to tell him the conversation about it, man. You guys are going to like each other because? Self-made. Yeah. Talk, talk about that. And that's why uh, we get along. Yeah. I appreciate that. I know what it takes. You you know what it takes. I mean, the way we keep scoring, the art world is a little different than your business. It's not as many zeros. Yeah. It's still, 
the, the challenges and the, you know, I 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. I make something out of nothing. Right. And Jim did that. Yeah. And he's one of the most successful guys in, in sports now. You know, this guy's a very social person. So he's trying to connect yeah, no, people. Yeah, no, there's one thing. I, I'm good at making stuff and I'm good at connecting people. Well, he's so I good was, at connecting yeah, people. And you guys, and you guys have, still have things to do. You yeah, yeah. So he called me. I'm like, Jim Crane, man, owns yeah. the Houston Astros. You guys got to meet. I'm like, but does Jim want to meet me? Yeah. He's like, Jim don't know you, bro. Yeah. And so Brendan's this third party saying, you guys need to connect each other. Yeah. I don't know what he's telling Jim about me, but we get on the phone, me and Jim, and I'm like, Jim, I need a parking spot. He's like, man, I got you, man. Yeah. This guy's Jim's worth billions. And he's worth four, five, six billion dollars. Yep. Owns the Houston Astros. Big country. Who, who knows? He could be worth 10 or 12. Yeah. We're going to get you on the golf course. It's all set up. Yeah. We're all setting you up. It's just setting you up. But what I was going to tell you was Crane. So he knew where I bought seat for the World yeah. Series. This is Jim Crane. Jim's never worth, met, never met you, never met him. Yeah. He's worth eight to 12. I don't know, five to eight, somewhere, some stupid amount yeah. of money. And he says to me, he's got to be my age or older, probably 64. a little older. Oh, he's my age. It's incredible, by the way. Look, I yeah. hope I look as good as you when I'm your age. <laughs> Jim Crane says to me on the phone call, I didn't tell you this. Right. I don't think I got any of that ticket you bought. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, he's like, he still wants a little big, a little piece. Worse than you. He's better rather than you. Hey, you guys are going to be best friend. I'm telling Probably you. Probably will be. Okay. How important is sales to the artist or to a business? Listen, it starts in my studio. I got to make good work. Yeah. If I don't have quality product, it's not going to sell anyways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But again, I know guys that can sell it just for market, but it's not going to last. Uh -huh. When my collectors get on board with me, it's forever. So they, they really are committing to something that, so whether it's the materials, whether it's, they're committing to me forever. Yeah. So I got to make good stuff. But I'm who's very, selling it? Who's deciding? I have much? galleries. No, I have galleries. Yeah. But, but I actually do, do more Do you sales. think galleries are outdated, man? I think the, the brick and mortar gallery is a titanic. That kind yeah, of yeah. Brick, it's very it's expensive to maintain. Uh -huh. They're playing the music. Yeah, yeah. Not, it's, the water's coming in and the music's still. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. by the way, we're sitting right here right now. That's okay. my theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my numbers shifted too. Direct, because the collectors uh -huh. are empowered. Yeah. People are, so they, so how does that affect the, the first dibs, the art sees, the online platforms? They I think they'll they're not going anywhere. They actually yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the collector is more empowered. Yeah, yeah. They can get to me easier. Right, one hundred percent. And that's the most gen look. One hundred it's the most genuine relationship. So. How important you brought it up earlier, scaling. Like, like, okay, now I got to go global or I gotta I gotta have different pieces. I can't, I can't just have a bungee. I gotta have the art, I gotta have the the stand up and the guy coming out of the wall. I got to have a round piece, a square yeah. piece. I got to have some. I would tell you, I'm probably one of the more competitive artists in the world. I'm trying to take over the whole game. So that's not just you want, here. You want Basquiat, you I want, want Harry. Everyone. Unfortunately, I'm worth more dead than I am alive at the moment. But yeah, no, relax. Your, your wife. Re relax. Your wife. <laughs> your wife says, do it now. Yeah. Put me out of my mission. No, but so I come yeah. at it that way. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying I'm doing something in Egypt. I'm trying to do something. I have a show in Norway. <clears throat> uh, this probably will land somewhere in the Middle East somehow. I right. Mean, you know, so, you know, I come at it that way. I, every day I wake up, I'm trying to own a new space. Yeah. This, I'm trying to eat another, cut off another piece. What does the term 10X mean to you? As it relates to your business? No, or? no, to, to you. What does it mean to you? Not to my business. To, to people at home, people watching this. When I say the word term scale, 10X. Scale. Uh -huh. In every way, right? Tough number. It's tough to get to, but I push, right? I'm pushing for it. My famous saying as a spinoff from you is I'm trying to add zeros. Yes. That's, that's what's in it. That's it. They make certain decisions in, try, in, in trying to do that. Yeah. It, it determines your decisions. In other words, I can sell a ton of work. Yeah. Commercial, like in a commercial manner. Like, what, what does that mean? Like lowering my price, sell a lot. Sell a lot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, it's not going to add a zero. So I have to pick my spots. I have to do these things. I have to do things that move the needle. It is, I'm saying it, it drives my decision. Yeah, got my it. My decision got making. It. Got it. Well, man, look, I, you know, just a big fan. Of By you. the way, you're cutting into my sales at the moment. Why? Have we done any sales? No, we haven't, bro. We haven't. Well, but perhaps when you post I'll, this. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. I'll bet you we do 500. Don't forget eights. the sneakers I made. We got to do that someday. The sneakers are yeah. awesome. The 10X sneaks. They're awesome. Yes. Okay. So I got to get the right size. That's the problem we'll for that. me. But yeah. I love them. My kids yeah. love them. The wife loves them. Yeah. Baby, baby, do you love the 10X sneakers? 
Love. We ought to do that whole brand, run that whole thing out. I love Audience it. to buy all that stuff, yeah. bro. But this, I want, I want to launch with this, okay? I know. Bungie for the desk. People will never get rid of it. I'll put my little quotes on it. Freaking awesome. I'm taking leaps. And <clears throat> lastly, how important is family? Kids, Bumps. the wife. That's the whole game. For me, that's what drives me. How, how does your wife understand you, though? In what regards? She, I tell her not to try. And you know what? I say the same thing to her. I don't need to yeah. understand. I love her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I don't need to understand you. I'm in either way. Wow, dude, I love and that. And I think, and, and really, because have you, she don't even understand herself, neither, uh-huh. right? Yeah, yeah. No, I gave up on that a while ago. I'm uh-huh. in, but I've been married how long? 11 years. 11 years, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm in. I'm all in. Look, I don't even know my kids are mine. I'm like, I'm still going to act like their dad. I know mine are. They're too good looking. You'll see them. They're coming. They're too good looking. Brandon Murphy, man. I'm going to put a link up to your website. Thank People you. can find out more about you, see your yeah. work, see your art. Yeah. Uh, he's got some fantastic stuff. I think he's just on the beginning of his career. I believe his art is literally, I bought a piece this up probably three times, three and a half, maybe four times. It's funny because you bought it once again. You bought it. Well, dude, when it I went bought, up, it went up not 10x, bro, but when 4x I touched something after again, you. When I touch something, it gets hot, bro. But I also told you when you bought it, I said, listen. No, you did. did. You did 100%. So right. anytime, look, art and real estate, you guys know how I feel about real estate. It benefits from inflation. Art, 1,000%. People want art. Wealthy people want to collect stuff they can, that makes them feel good, that they have experience. Yeah. So you're changing the world, bro. Artists. Trying to. If this planet didn't have artists, yeah. bro, we'd be a depressed. I mean, oh. depressed. How, you know, the city grid that came from Mondrian, his paintings. Uh-huh. Artists are architects. Oh, wow. I didn't uh, know that. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know what I'm necessarily changing, but I, I know that if I can bring somebody in the moment, I can kind of make them feel good, which really? I know. You know, hey, man, that's, I'll take it. I remember where I bought it. I remember when I met you. I remember when it came to the house. And you like, see it every day. In your, I'm in your yeah, home. Yeah. And you, you live in my home, bro. I love that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Brendan Murphy, checking out. All right. Thanks for joining us.